guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really good frost build. Now, I was using this for about 30 minutes in a survival on hard mode, and it's actually a really good build. And the reason why it's a really good build is because frost can actually be really tanky, and his snow globes can help him a lot in survivals. And obviously, I'm going to talk about the weapons that we use and everything after the build. So, let's just get straight into the build. So, for the ability that we did subsume onto Frost was Messer's Shooting Gallery. Now, this is like really OP because it's just, it's just more crowd control. It just gives us more crowd control and it just helps out an absolute ton. So, that is what the ability we have is Shooting Gallery. And we did swap out uh, Mess, uh, Frost's 2 for Shooting Gallery. So, because uh, if you didn't know, if Frost's 1 can actually explode the snow globe and actually do more damage so uh, I decided to keep the uh, frosters one just for that so now the the mods that we have is we have prime flow for energy we have overextended for the range because we want to get as much range as possible and I'll talk about why we want to get as much range we've got blind rage on here so we don't go negative rate uh, negative strength because of our overextended we've got adaptation on here for that uh, damage reduction we have umbral vitality and umbral fiber so we can get more armor and we also have streamlined and icy avalanche now you need to have this icy avalanche the reason why you need to have this icy av avalanche because this will literally give you damage like damage reduction so this basically just gives you like armor basically when you use your four the more people you hit the more armor you get so it's actually a really good mod to have so i recommend having this and it's because it's actually a really good mod to have because you're going to be always using your four so that you can just uh, like freeze them that's why you want to have you don't want to have negative duration because you want to make sure these are somewhat frozen for a bit so see here we've got eight seconds now the reason why we didn't have duration mods because we don't really need much duration mods because our snow globe doesn't take duration and shooting gallery lasts 30 seconds what is fine for me and then also our, like i said earlier ice avalanche when they are frozen it lasts eight seconds so that is completely fine and the reason why we have umbral uh, vitality and fiber is so that our health and our snow globe can actually go up because if we take off our umbral fiber real quick it will actually go down to quite a bit so 5600 health so you want to have a decent amount of health for your snow globe so you don't just get like one shot so this is a decent amount right here on what you've got so this is a build that we did use it's actually really good. We, use, we also use Arcane Fury and Arcane Energy. The reason why I use Arcane Fury is because I always just use a melee weapon. So this basically here that will give us a uncritical ha critical hit, a 40% chance for 120% melee damage to melee weapons for 12 seconds. And in that 12 seconds time, you are going to be critting like three times. You're going to be basically basically just an automatic 120% melee damage. So you're going to be always creating anyway with the melee weapon. If you have a maxed one, then use a maxed one, but I don't have a maxed one. So the other weapons that we did use, Kuva Nucor. The Kuva Nucor is actually a really good weapon. We use the Crocif. We used the Hornet Strike. We used Confusion, Sure Shot, Pistol Peasants, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Anemic Agility, and Org of Pact. And this is the, the corrosive build that I run. The reason why I went corrosive is mainly for them bombards or something that has a lot of armor so we can strip the armor down really quick. And then for the melee weapon that we have is we have the Crodon Prime, literally the best melee weapon in the game in my opinion. So again, I literally use the same build every single video but I'm going to be talking about it anyway. We've got Condition Overload on here because Condition Overload is way more better than just having a Sacrificial Pressure or Prime Pressure Point or something like that. We have Prime Reach, we have Berserker for the attack speed, we have a Virulent Scourge for the Toxin, and obviously we want to have that status chance. We've got Healing Return on here, there's a must have mod, you need to have this mod on here. You, I literally use this on literally basically every single frame, unless you already have healing, but this is a really good one that you need to have. Blood Rush, Vicious Frost, and Weeping Wounds. This will basically make it so, we will basically make it so we are always constantly procking viral and slash. So that means we, from our condition overload, we are always getting that 240% melee damage. And obviously you are going to sometimes uh, get like impact and puncture, so we'll get more sometimes. So that is a really good mod to have. Prime reach is a must. If you have a rhythm for this, uh, I'll look for probably like toxin, uh, ranged, maybe attack speed or something like that. So then you can change up some stuff. So for example, if you get toxin, 
melee speed and range then you can take that these three mods can go off and you can put something else on instead so that's the like, Cronin Riven that I'm trying to look for and uh, yeah that's basically been it guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you did and uh, yeah see you guys later peace out